Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, Mr. Shores, for those of you who are new and haven't seen my face, um, this is what it looks like. Uh, usually it's been covered by a mask. To my old band parents, hello and welcome back. Um, we are in full swing, and uh, as y'all seen, we've already done some football games. Um, and we're really, really going forward um, to get band going and keep it playing safely. Um, hence the reason we have all of the uh, requirements in place with masks and you know even further social distancing than normal. Um, some of you may have seen some of the covers on the instruments. Um, all these things we're doing to help uh, keep things safe, but yet keep us playing. Um, so uh, our time is short this evening, so I want to go ahead and get into our PowerPoint. Um, so if you give me just one second, I will change over and share my screen with you. All right. So once again, welcome to band. Uh, most of you have been here once, twice, up to five or six times. Um, again, I'm uh, Mr. Shores, the band director here at uh, Middle Senior High School. And um, my best way, the best way to reach me um, is to contact me through email. And that email is, of course, shoress at duvalschools.org. Uh, and uh, as you guys know, I, I will see booster meetings, um, those type things. We can we can also get in contact there. Uh, just as a quick plug, if you are a parent who is in band, um, this is mostly for my new parents. If you are a parent who is in band, you are a member of the band boosters, and hopefully we will be able to start up getting some uh, meetings arranged here soon. All right, this isn't an advanced band class. However, this year, because of scheduling uh, and the way things are locked in with uh, all the different scheduling, we do have some beginner band students in class with us. Um, so I'm going to cover both things. So just because it says advanced band at the top, don't, uh, don't worry. Um, we've got everyone covered. Um, this is a performance-based class. I want to stress this again. This is a performance-based class. All students are expected to either be, be playing or learning an instrument in this class. Um, the specific thing is they, uh, those who have been will begin to hone and expand their skills on their chosen instruments. Um, all students will be introduced to explore the history behind and um, some of the cultural influences behind uh, and play several different genres of music, including jazz, pop, marches, classical, and modern music. And those will be done where there are wind ensemble, marching band, and smaller ensembles. I'm hoping in our, in our winter lull to be able to start up the guitar ensemble because we have several students in the band who want to play guitar. And if we have the instrumentation together, I hope to start up a small jazz ensemble. Students who are expected to perform, that is, that is part of the band. Uh, they are expected to perform at all football games, the winter, spring, and art extravaganza concerts. Again, if these are held due to um, the global situation, as well as the music performance assessments. Now, our marching assessment for this fall has been canceled, so we will not be going to that. However, the assessment in the spring, the concert band assessment, is still, as of now, on. Um, so we are going to be preparing for that come uh, mid-October. Um, but all students are required to, uh, are expected to play for that. With the exception of my beginning band students, my, my sixth graders. The sixth graders are only required to perform at the winter and art extrava extravaganza concerts. However, because of our situation, the way things are, they're in the class with everyone else. They're learning to play. And as they grow up, they are they are invited to be, be play at all the events that we play at this year, with the exception of MPA. MPA's state policy says that only seventh grade through twelfth grade can perform at MPA. 
Um, so that's our only major exception. However, uh, we will make arrange. Uh, I will check with uh, people to make arrangements about uh, attending and supporting uh, MPA. They just uh, aren't allowed to perform. Um, we also have solo and ensemble is still on for this year as well. So students will also be allowed to explore uh, small ensemble playing and solos. Uh, which will be graded at the district and then state level. Um, once again, that that is a that is an MPA, and so sixth graders are not um, allowed to do that. Uh, but that's okay. We'll get them in starting in the next year. Um, students will also be introduced to basic music theory, the nuts and bolts of how music's created. It's also how we read music, so they'll be able to learn all the notes uh, that they're seeing on their papers as well as how to make the rhythms function um, and all the, the different expression terminology that they'll run into while playing. My beginning students who are there, yes, so you're, you're getting kind of a crash course, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Um, uh, most of them have, start, have chosen their instruments and are starting to get them uh, into their instruments uh, and starting to get them to learn to read music so that they're, they're um, able to to understand what they're playing on their instruments. Um, so in class performance assessments, uh, all perform in class performance assessments will be done directly for me for turning to turn in work. So those will be done and performed in class for me um, and I'll be graded in a grade for them. Um, at home learning has been a, an important part of band. Um, we practice here in class. We have afternoon after school practices twice a week, but it is very important that students practice on their own at home. Um, it, the expectation is for all students to be practicing their chosen instrument at least three times a week. Sixth graders for 15 minutes for each each time they practice. Seventh and eighth graders 20 minutes each time they practice, and high school students 30 minutes each time they practice. Um, they can practice more if they want, but those are the minimums for each time a week they practice. Every other week they'll be given a Flipgrid assignment. Flipgrid is a um, application that we use district wide. Um, for many subjects, not just music, but for many subjects, it allows them to record a short um snippet of them playing uh there is an faq in the syllabus no they don't have to show their face no they don't have to show you know anything about about house or anything as long as as long as i hear them playing um they are good to go for um the flip grid because that's the important thing is is me hearing what they've been practicing those these will be guided ass assignments we will be working on them in class um, and is expected to be part of their after at home uh, practice and learning. And so every two weeks, I will set up a Flipgrid topic for them to uh, record for a grade. There is also a collaboration channel in Flipgrid that is just for our band that just our band members can can see and can do. And uh, that way they can do some collaboration with them with with each other. Um, all performances, I mentioned the football games, um, the uh, winter concert, spring concert, MPA, all of these are graded evolutions. Band is a co-curricular activity, um, and so these are graded evolutions. However, I understand sometimes you can't make the performance. It is a, I understand that, and if I have advance warning, that's, that's even better. However, if you miss a performance, an alternate assignment of a short written work of which I will give the topic to. Usually it's uh, just a one page summary of the history of their instrument or a famous composer or that has to do with something of the music that we're playing or a performer, uh, a famous performer on their instrument. Um, this one little, this little one uh, page summary will go towards uh, as an alternative assignment uh, for missing that performance. Um, uh, once again, sixth graders are only required those two performances a year, the winter concert and art extravaganza, but they are um, invited to, to the other things. Um, 
So no, the sixth graders, if they don't make if they don't make the football games, are not going to be given an assignment for that because they are only required two performances. All right, uh, for my students, if you miss an in-class assignment, so I, we had a test and you were absent, or I gave out a packet and you were you were absent on that day and you needed to make it up, you will be given one day per absence. So one, so for every day you're absent, you'll be given one day to turn it in and make it up. For my students that have accommodations for extra time, um, that will be given to you on a individual basis. Um, we'll make sure all accommodations are met. Um, so uh, just I wanted to make sure everyone had that. Um, if you need extra help, everyone needs extra help. Everyone has, re they reach a plateau and they're playing and they need to get that extra little push. Um, well, we already have our afternoon practices from three to five where we do sectionals and we do some individual work as well as um, as well as individual work. But if you do need extra help and you just don't want to, you know, admit it to everyone in the band, please get with me and make an appointment. I, I'm uh, making myself available uh, Mondays from 2.30 to 5 by appointment um, for you to come in and play uh and and get some extra time if you need that extra help and i will be willing to work with you with that um, afternoon brand practice um this we right now uh we had been doing it from five to seven that's because half the band was gone with hybrid um hybrid is now ending so we are going to switch those practices back to three to five on tuesdays and thursdays um, there is an activities bus uh, but we will we will switch back to three to five on Tuesdays to Thursdays so that um, we because uh, we have everybody here and we get back on that regular schedule. If you are part of a sport group, again, my regular policy still stands as if you're part of a sports group, just let me know. I'll work it out with the coaches for you to be there at least one day of those two days a week. No problem. As you guys know, I want you all to be well-rounded and explore everything that school has to offer. Um, but once again, this is a change from the syllabus um, due to students returning face to face. Um, grade weights and percentages, 50% of your grade comes from your performances. That's why the performances are so uh, important. These are graded evolutions. These are like taking a – we talk about uh, gradual release. This is your gradual release. This is where you perform. Um, so performances are 50% of the grade. Any in, uh, classroom assessments or, or classwork that I give you will be 30% of your grade. And then because, again, that – practice at home is so important. Uh, your flip grid grades would be 20% of your grade. Um, again, if you have any problems technically, technical problems with flip grid, let me know so I can work things around so that you can get that grade and get things going. I'm willing to work with you. Just let me know. All right. All students who are absent will need to make up missed work tests or notes. Um, Missed work or tests will be given an extension of one day per absence. Again, those who needed uh, accommodations, those accommodations will be met. Um, if you missed a class because of a doctor's note, because of a doctor's appointment or something like that, um, doctor's notes or a parent hand, parent handwritten letter must be sent to the office for absences to be changed to excused absences, and that'll be done by Ms. Jacobs, the attendance clerk. Thank you all for coming. Um, I know there's a lot of information in a short amount of time. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, please email me at shoress at duvalschools.org. Um, and we'll see you out there on the field, see you out there at practice. Um, and y'all have a good evening.